Okay, another repair video. In this video, I'm going to be brazing aluminum in order to fix this jealousy window. Jealousy windows were very popular back in the 1950s and 1960s before air conditioning. People like jealousy windows because the entire area where the window is opens up allowing fresh air to go in. The good thing about jealousy windows is also when it rains, the water cannot come in because all the slats are angled down and they have an overlap. So over here there's a clip that holds the glass and the clip was missing. I had tape just over this area keeping it closed for the rain but I have to put back the clip in order to put back the glass. So right over here is what one of the clips looked like. I already took it off the bottom of the window because I have to duplicate this. It's held in with two rivets and then as it opens and closes, it just pivots. So I went online, I was able to find this one here, very similar, as you can see. Hopefully you can see that. Same length, four and a half inches. The only problem is the arm is different than this one and the holes do not line up. So I have to make this work in order to have this glass put back in. And since these are obsolete windows, you cannot find the parts. It's very tough. Once in a while, you may get lucky. But in my case, I searched everywhere for four and a half inch jealousy glass clips and could not find them. So I do have aluminum sheet laying around. So what I'm going to do is trace this section of the original clip onto the aluminum sheet. It's just slightly thinner than the aluminum right here. Then I'm going to cut this off overlay the new piece, and then I'm going to braze it in position onto this clip so it looks just like the one right over here. Now I'm going to be using the Alumite brazing rod. I used this in another video years ago showing you how good it is. So you're going to see again right now how useful this rod is. Let's get started. Right here I'm tracing onto the aluminum sheet the piece that I'm going to need, and I'm marking the holes where I'm going to be drilling. Using my Dremel with a cutoff wheel, very carefully cut out the piece. This is the original that I'm copying. This is the new clip. I cut off that area, and right over here, you can see the piece that I made. Everything lines up perfectly. So I need to take this piece right here, and I need to attach it onto this one here, just like that. Once this is done, I'm gonna drill that hole through this area on the back. So right over here, you can see there's an open window. I'm going to wire brush this with the stainless steel wire brush. Then I'm going to fill it with the brazing rod material. And then up here, around the top edge, is also going to be brazed. Let me position it properly, take it outside, and show you how it's done. Okay, everything is held in perfect position using the vice grips. The brazing rod is going to be applied over this top edge right here. Flow those two pieces together. Some inside this window, to the left and to the right side over here. First thing you want to do is stainless steel brush over that area. And then once heat's been applied, you want to brush it while it's hot. You're going to remove that surface oxidation, you're going to scratch the surface, and you're going to have an excellent bond if you do that. If you don't clean it properly, it is not going to hold up inside that window. Now the one thing about aluminum, it has a melting point, I believe around 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you apply too much heat, it's just going to melt and you'll destroy the entire connection. So gradual heating, as it's heating every so often, you just want to go like this. If it starts to flow, I'm going to work it into the surface and then heat it again and apply more. Let's get started. Gradual heat. 
you can feel the difference when you brush it under heat. It feels like you're scraping away more of the metal. Hold it far away. I'm using propane. It's a map gas torch head, but it's propane. Okay. Now I'm going to gradually keep going like that. Don't get too close with the flame. You want the metal to melt the rod, not the flame from the torch. We just do it again with this. The vice grip is acting like a heat sink too. See it starting now? There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Work it in. What I'm going to do now is apply a little bit more heat. It's kind of windy out. Just work that in. Work it in. Once it's worked in, then you can apply more and you'll be perfect. Now that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to apply more so it's wet. heat will smooth it right out. I could always take my Dremel and grind over this at the end rather than chance applying more heat, but that's a good connection. Let's go over here now, wire brush this, do the same thing. Just the corners I want to do to keep it together. That's not bad. That's perfect. Heat it up again. All right, that is finished. This will never come apart. I've used this probably a hundred times over the years. If you do it right, it stays together. So let me just gently grind this little rough edge here away. Wire brush this clean. I'm gonna drill that hole through so it comes out over here where it's supposed to be. Take it over to the window, rivet it in. Right there's the two side by side. Okay, it's going right down here to that hole and this hole. I have some silicone lubricant applied to both spots. This is the rivet I'll be using, going from the inside to the outside on both holes. Okay, let's do the rear one first, the back one first. lined up perfectly. Let's do the next one. As you can see, it fits perfectly inside those clips. Let's open and close the window just to make sure it works good. Now you know what to use, some propane, a stainless steel brush, and some alumite brazing rods in the event you ever have to work on aluminum parts. Throw away that repair epoxy because it does not work. Thanks for watching.